terrific Tuesday because we're joined by Lexi from the Capital Area Humane Society today who's got a very furry and soft and adorable friend with us today. Lexi, with this beautiful name that this kitten has, tell us who this is. This is Debbie. Debbie. She is five months old, so she's one of our teenage kitty cats that we have at the shelter right now. Okay. She's super, super soft, very sweet. Definitely wants to go check the studio out, but I'm going to ask that she stay here during this segment. Oh, boy. Um, but she's a really sweet little girl. Okay. Now, when you say teenage, Debbie's a teenager. Now, explain to us about how, like, cat lives work, about age, uh, the timeline. Yes. Explain that to us really yeah. quick. So, at the shelter, we consider an animal a puppy or a kitten if they're between the ages of two and four months old. Okay. I and mean, that's because at that age, they're still receiving booster shots. They're not going to have quite okay. as um, built up of an immune system as some of our adult animals do. Um, five months and older, we consider them adults at the shelter um, in terms of our adoption fees, the locations that we might house them in the shelter, and just their overall medical status. Okay. With that said, a five-month-old is still a baby. Um, any normal person would call a five-month-old <laughs> a kitten. Um, Health-wise, we would consider you know a puppy or a kitten up till they're about 12 months old. They'd okay. still be eating kitten or puppy food, um, still have that playful energy. They're still learning just like, you know, two or three month old yeah. is going to so she is five months so she would have an adult adoption fee for our adult kitty cats and she okay. would you know start to have some of her um she's a little bit bigger than some of the tiny <laughs> two month olds i bring especially with um, the tail look at that but she does have uh, some growing to do so okay. just you know like a human teenager she's kind of in that in-between state Okay, and you know, something you just brought up that I think is really important is about health care and getting booster shots. And I think a lot of times when we adopt a kitten, a puppy, or whichever, we get so excited. But remember, we got to take care of them just like we would with our own children. Absolutely. So what does that kind of look like or what are some things that we should prepare to expect when it comes to taking care of a kitten medically? Yeah, so with any animal, we would recommend getting them into the vet within two weeks of adoption just for a wellness exam, make mm -hmm. sure that they're doing well. Mm -hmm. um, with a kitty who is going to be up to date on their vaccines that is old enough to have had all their booster shots, um, right. your follow-up care after that might be a little bit less because okay. most of those vaccines are good for a year. So once you've had that wellness exam, you may not need to go back into the vet for a little while. Okay. Puppies and kittens, the ones we typically bring in that are younger, they might have some follow-up medical work just to make sure that they get fully boosted just like human babies right. need a little bit med more medical care than we adults do exactly um, especially when flu season is coming up right around the corner too as well yes how exciting and of course we have the walk for the animals that's coming up very very shortly too remind us about what that is and how we can all get involved and register for those of us who are really excited to come yeah, the Walk for the Animals is coming up really soon here on October 5th. It mm -hmm. is from 1 to 3 p.m. at Fitzgerald Park in Grand Ledge. It is a lot of fun. We have a lot of activities. We have some contests, vendors, food trucks, all sorts of really cool things planned for this year's event. Mm -hmm. You can register for that on our website, or you can just stop at the park and register in person that day. So it is super simple to do. Um, but we would love to have lots of people come out. It is pet friendly, so you can bring your dogs to the park. Of course, of course bring the whole family all the kiddos as well will have some activities for them. That's right and like you said all those details are on your website but of course you can adopt Debbie if you stop by the Capital Area Humane Society tonight until 7 p.m. 7 p.m. that's what I thought. All right well Debbie or Debster I think that's what I'm gonna call you. <laughs> of course I know you're gonna find a home soon so thank you so so much for joining us today. Thank you. And of course we've got more studio time.